Alright, day three. I guess. Shot territory here. One of the reasons we're doing this is to get the sand. <clears throat> because if we just mine the wasteland and underground, then we're going to have a lot more stone than sand, and we'll need more sand, so... there. I could have just followed my initial instinct was just to run up to the pig.
one shot to do now, assuming we can get in range. going to still need a source of water, but we might be able to find a way to put water in here. First we're still at 60 damage, I thought it would have gone up to 61 by now. on a decent chunk of the way. We probably want to be heading more north now and see if we can find some water up there. We will probably cancel and speed that up later on, but...
sign of water. Hope we're not gonna wind up losing on yucca juice. Take to go up one point of damage here. Holy moly. There we go. in a moment. Forty skill for the steel tools. processing the log spikes.
one construction to skill, oh boy, construction tool skill, oh boy. <coughs> desert for water because we can't find water outside the desert because that makes so much sense Three, two, one. There we go. Just waiting for letting the sensed thing fade I saw the bag, I just don't really have any reason to leave it yet. What am I going to possibly get in there that's worth it? I'd rather save it.
shocking twist of fate. Uh, <coughs> I don't really see any water in the desert. Never would have guessed that. But we have the yucca juice for water until we actually manage to find a water source, which, annoyingly, is proving actually kind of difficult in a way. Sorry if there was a flicker there, I had to take care of something. It didn't count as a sneak attack. Had he really sensed me from there? Or was the other arrow still close enough? I'm guessing that's what it probably was. house over there, but still no sign of any water. to set up that. Not today.
It's not actually him aggroing on it. How interesting. Chopping down this tree, then getting under cover. So this right here is facing toward us, we need to go, that's the forge, there's one past the forge, and that is the outer layer is going to be.
going to be the size of the eventual base. As you might guess, I'm wishing I had wound up. Making it closer, like instead just one inside instead of a, this much smaller. skill from that.
gives me considerably more than just sitting there with, uh, just, you know, putting the shovels into the crate. I think they're beating up that giant rock near me. Doing some rough, rough math, I have an 8 by 6, you know, 4, and 48 of those alone for ground floor, which means I need 480 concrete mix just for that alone, without even trying to build up the walls. So I have enough for the ground floor right now, basically, so I don't have to fill that in. due to the whole they're not going to be hitting it part, but
nearly to the 40 at least. We should definitely get it just setting up the concrete tomorrow. I suppose that'll end day three. Onward to day four as soon as I finish this row.